I was just sitting here contemplating on if I want to make this video or not. But of course, that was my ego thinking for me, thinking like, you know, you're not going to make this video. You can go ahead and rest. You already made your previous video. So just get up and go get you a smoothie, get ready for Bible study. But then I said to myself, like, nah, we're not going to listen to you today. We're going to do what we want to do. We're going to make a video and we're going to help somebody out there because being lazy gets us nowhere. Once again, future self. To the future me watching this, like you told me before, we got to get moms, we got to retire moms, basically. So we can't be lazy. We have work to do. She's still working. We have to work harder. So what are we waiting for? Stop thinking and start doing, Divine Messenger 777. I'm talking to you, Darius. That's not my name anyway. Either way it goes. Celestial rising, great afternoon, and good night to the beautiful entity watching this video. It's your boy, Divine Messenger, and we're back with another message to understand. It's your divine reflection, not it's your boy. It's your, it's your divine mirage. Back with another message. And understand, before we begin to this, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share if you enjoyed this. And also, when you like it, it puts us on the algorithm to where we are able to push the message to want to be better. Self-improvement, self-love, enjoyment, being in bliss, spiritually awakening into your higher self, being a, a great person, just being a genuine person, just being God. Just, right, yeah, just go ahead and say how it is. Just be God. Like, be good, be bad. It doesn't even matter. Just stop hurting people. Stop doing negative shit. But that's impossible for a demon to do. It's like, how are you going to tell a demon to do good deeds when it's demonic? Make it make sense. So anyways, I know you see the title of this video. Awaken the God self with Christ. That's a great name, by the way. Because literally, awaken the satanic self with the Christ frequency. As above, so below. God is Satan. Good is bad. Bad is good. Can you go deeper into the NBA and the Euro League if possible, my reflection? For one, the NBA does not exist to the Almighty Creator. The NBA is a spell made from spell casters. Oh, thank God I got the uh I got the hot spot on because I wanted to do I wanted to just Google something real quick. And of course we gotta be authentic with it, right? Because so when did the NBA start? Like we had to actually like we had to dissect what this shit like so Nat National Basketball Association. But we got to understand, too, that this is a game from a bunch of spellcasters, sorcerers, energy harvesters. So, okay, you could say 1946, 1949. Either way it goes, it had 11 teams and through a sequence of team expansions, reductions, and relocations consists of 30 teams, 29 in the United States and one in Canada. So they've been there for like 77 years. This spell has been working for 77 years, and it'll keep going on until almighty knows when. The thing is, so let's go into the Euro League. Euro League is actual basketball. And people, if you're a real hooper, the the mind is the best skill set that you can have. So 95% of the game is your mind. The 5% is just skill, athleticism, all that is shit is cool. But with your mind, you don't have to be athletic to literally be a dog or a killer on the court. So people from the Euro League, they will dominate the NBA. Now, of course, we still got, you know, Americans and shit like that who are pros at the game. So it goes hand in hand. But the people on the other, uh, like across the water, basically, they know the game. On top of that, they're awake because in their reality, they don't have a, I'm never going to say utopia. They're, they're, most of them don't know what bliss really is. So they're not able to just go out into nature and make videos and sit on social media all day and scroll mindlessly and watch Hulu, Netflix. Some of them don't have to have, like, they don't have those efficient jobs or big houses starting off when they're born. No, they have to actually get it from the mud. And some of them are at war in their different countries. So all they, like, their outlet and two, loving themselves is basketball or football, soccer, whatever the case may be. It doesn't even matter. A sport is a sport. It's all a spell anyways because you're bored. So that's why sports were invented, to keep you bored under a spell to satisfy yourself or it's a hobby. It's a childhood game. So a lot of these kids were playing childhood games, but they said to themselves, wait a minute. We got a TV because – and the thing is, too, with the NBA, in order for them to even watch it, there is a channel over there where they can watch it. Even we got – the internet now you can stream it too so they can stream this shit and they can see who their favorite player is so like you can look at many athletes and even WNBA players WNBA players as well you can all watch them and watch how great they actually are on the court so once you align your mind and your third eye and you combine that together with what you think you are then you're gonna find out that I can do the same exact thing that this person is doing on the screen the only thing is though it becomes to be entertainment it's not an actual job so it's like you can't like a million people, stop saying like too. 
a million some people or a billion first of all just like billions of people i said like again god damn divine you gotta relax baby let's get to it there's over billions of people across this dimension across this world and imagine how many people in america canada south america europe russia africa it doesn't matter imagine how many people are putting a ball into the hoop praying and hoping that they make it to the nba many of them don't have a chance in hell to make it to the nba and that's just being real but now i don't want to put people out there either but like including brawny averaging three points four points no knock on him you're scoring in a lead that's tough like most people can't even make a layup in the league four points but it's like if you can get if he can get four points why can't you if he can get four points and make it, now, of course, it's a script. And the people who can't understand the script with LeBron and his son, but not just his son, but anybody in general, they're all scripted athletes. They're all part of the program. It's entertainment. Basically, if you want to be a clown and please the people coming to the circus, go into the NBA, go be a pro. Go be a pro athlete and do the same exact spell every damn day. Run across the same exact court every day and people will watch you on the screen. They'll praise you like a god because people are just... I and mean, the thing is, too, basketball is entertaining to watch. Like, you can't sit here and act like it's not entertaining hoops. Like, it is. Like, so when it comes down to, like, the finals and, like, the Olympics, that is fun to watch. But, like, the regular season, that shit's boring. Why? Most people are just doing their script. And then, too, when you get into, like, gematria, numerology, that's when you got to understand, like, and align people's accolades, their trophies, their rings, and to how they got them. Most of these people are sellouts first. They're all sellouts, literally. But what, what is a sellout? People that are sellouts, it can be in any indication that you want it to be, but their name has to be valued or idolized and it has to be broadcasted. It has to be, they have to sell your name so that they can get profit as well. And what I mean, they, I mean, their higher ups, their mommy and daddy, their rich baby daddies, rich baby mamas, basically. Now, and there's different doors to the, that these different beings go into. So a lot of them too, they have the all seeing eye on their hands, on their shoulders, on their, like it's, it's all symbolism, it's all occultism. So if you look at an NBA game, most of these people are not real, they're mindless programs. So there are some people who are betting on a bunch of grown men or women. So in this case, a bunch of grown men, and people don't understand, it's like, you're, why, you're mad because somebody shot a three, they missed it for a game. You say they're trash, you go on the internet, you're trash as fuck, I can't believe I bet. You're mad because that's not a part of their script. That night, they lost the game, and you're mad because they lost the game because they're still sticking to the script to pay their bills. You're watching them play a play, and you're playing along and getting mad with your feelings that don't need validation to how great that player is. They are still multimillionaires. So we're entertaining clowns, and we're paying clowns to be entertained for free when you can be an NBA player at your own crib as well. Not only that, we're buying games like 2k and shit so it's literally a mockery so you're basically watching a bunch of scripted people who are they were born into this shit basically meaning like these entities and these deities that do watch them they were entertained it's like how can you please millions amongst the crowd when you dunk on somebody can you end their career can you shoot a three on somebody can you hit a fadeaway can you do shit that the average person can't do if you can come on over but you don't recruit them they recruit you they go and find you they go into your gym when you're in high school middle school on top of that if you don't have offers or if you're not if you're not what's crazy contradict everything question everything before you're 18 if you're not getting looked at by high scouts colleges d1s d2 d3 juco i won't say you won't make it but there is still hope for you but you have to work harder because, all, like I said before, entertainment. So how entertaining are you to a bunch of... So if you have a small crowd at your high school, whatever, can you rock the crowd? Can you get 30, 20 consistently? Not only that, you have to know your role. These people in Europe, they know their role. So it's like with Luka, Jokic, Giannis, who else? Who else is like Shea, Gil Shea Gilders Alexander, Buddy Hill, Evan Fournier, Nicholas Batum. There's so many athletes out here that are just overseas. And most people cannot guard them. Like, MB, most people cannot guard these people. It's like they move so slow that it's pace. So that's why as a coach, I tell my players pace. Because it's like you cannot speed up somebody who knows the game. Like with Luka, for example. Luka is so dominant because, for one, he is a ball hog. But two... 
if you're six nine six eight and you're moving slow as a snail but you get but like you get 30 easy why pass but the thing is too anybody can eat on like the thing is with luca as well he's awakened but everybody in the NBA is awakened because it's like some of them, like a lot of them sold they sold my nigga. It's just like they're control opposition. When you understand that, the and what's crazy, even if you're on shrooms, if you're out of your body, you'll really see what these motherfuckers look like. But you can't make this shit up. These are a bunch of aliens, a bunch of deities who don't hoop at regular gyms. Like these are a bunch of like these are species hooping on a court. So Victor Wimbyama, for example, you nobody in this planet can guard that besides somebody who can guard that. But the average citizen, the average couch coach will never be able to guard a 7-5 point guard. That's a my player in real life. Yao Ming. Nobody in this realm can guard Yao Ming because he will get buckets at will. Now, of course, he deserved to win more rings, whatever. Even like Shaq, Kareem, like Matumbo, Hakeem. These, like these people, are, they were just, they weren't normal people at all like you can't be a normal citizen playing basketball in the nba so in the euro leagues these entities these deities are showing you like this is magic so with space gym excuse me by the way i'm out of nature my soul my, my my soul my nose does get itchy with downloads and with bugs and shit like that but excuse me with space gym when uh those those aliens right i hate saying that word too but those those little species whatever right those malevolent beings, they decided to overtake that basketball. Patrick Ewan, Charles Barkley, Sean Bradley, it was somebody else. I think it was, it was somebody else. So I forgot his name. But yeah, so when they took over their powers, they didn't have any game anymore. So Michael Jordan had to go up against them other these fallen entities, basically. Once he did that, it was showing you that in the NBA, it's the same exact thing. So like, so like LeBron, for example, he would be Lucifer to the lead. Like, he runs that bitch. So like, LeBron is the NBA. But people are tired of seeing this nigga LeBron hooping at an exposure that he was hooping at. It's like, damn, it's my turn, my nigga. So now, there is no LeBron and Curry. There is no more spells like the Cavs and the, and the Warriors for like three years straight. Nobody's seen that no more. Now, it's like anybody can win because everybody's showing you how great they are. There's, there's no more LeBron. So once he leaves... That's when the league may start shifting into what it actually used to be now. There are no more Kobe's, no more Jordans, no more spontaneous athletes that love basketball. These people are doing it because it's a like gambling addiction now. So the more you give these, give attention to these athletes, you're funding their lifestyle. The more you view the shit on the internet, on TV, even in person, you're giving the rich more currency to be richer, to do nothing. To do nothing. They don't play any amount of defense, but it's like... How can you play defense on somebody who's in the gym for five hours just shooting shots? How can how can you guard that? If somebody's in the gym for five to six hours having three workouts a day, approximately, some people actually, approximately, some people get over 1,000 shots a day. How can you beat somebody like that? You don't. You don't. So you have to watch somebody who is a master at their craft. It's literally witchcraft. So when you see somebody doing some crazy shit with the rock, like Kyrie Irving, for example, Moving with the rock and then passing it, scoring at will, changing hands in the, in the air and scoring and making it, doing some unorthodox shit, crossing people, people getting, people getting dunked on, seven footers getting dunked on. It's like, bro, that shit is magic. Cause it, and on top of that, we are all blind to the bullshit. It's all bullshit. The people who are up front and personal, it's all for attention. It's all for fame and money and notoriety. These are all nothing but sellouts. So even behind closed doors, these higher ups, they are betting on their own teams to win. So like the Celtics, for example, they sac they had to sacrifice Bill Walton to even get that ring to finally be where they wanted to be. But these organizations are, are going to war to who's the best team in the NBA, basically. So these fallen Nephilim, like so Celtics and Lakers, for example, it was always Larry Bird and Magic, Kobe, Paul Pierce, Ray Allen, Rondo, all of that shit doesn't even matter. Now you think about it, it's the spell still going on, but you still got the, the Bucks one, the Warriors, the Cavs, there's like Miami Heat, there's different teams to where these organizations are just showing you how good they can be when you have greatness on your team with other greatness as well. So people are building super teams to come together to get more money, like duh, and then what's crazy, either way it goes, Whoever loses in the finals is still a winner. So there are no losers in the finals. So that's why people are working so hard overseas to come and bust our ass. Because imagine dominating in the NBA. Like imagine coming to the league and you're dropping 30. Imagine being overseas with no, no distractions. Like you had nothing but ignorance, just unconsciousness, 
pain, agony, trauma, all that shit, but you're still practicing in the cold. You you got you got coats on, you got a hat on, you got goggles on. It's it's a blizzard outside, but you still hooping with a with a cardboard box or a carton of milk. Empty out the milk. You got a whole carton. Cut a hole on the bottom of it. You just shooting, shooting every single day. You come to the league, nigga. What I can walk and get a bucket, and you actually do it. And then what's crazy? Every day you wake up, somebody's buying your jersey and you get more richer. Every day you wake up, somebody's buying your shoes and you get more richer. But don't forget, they gave you an opportunity and you will sold that out because of course you signed the bag. But there are some people who do sign blood oaths as well and it gets deeper than that. So with Jamantra and even numerology, once again, it's all done by the numbers. So whoever wins this amount of rings, they made sacrifices. So, yeah, some people do kill their family members to get a certain amount of rings. Some people will kill their friends. Some people will sacrifice their children to get this amount of rings because they want attention. They want to be heard. They want to be seen. They want to be famous. And they have to keep that spell up. So, it's like, there's some people now, even with that, with Bronny, back to that. If he can get, if he can average four points in college and still make it, that means you can as well. That lets you know that no matter what, nobody's going to check LeBron for how he runs the league because what you going to say to him? Nigga, he got his kid into the league. I don't ever see a father or a son ever being able to do that shit in history. Like, he's making history at his own will. Meaning, like, he, people watch him and his son when he first got to the league. Not only that, they watched him grow up and he's in the NBA. That's how crazy witchcraft is and people can sit there and they can talk shit all they want but Bronny will be in the nba no matter what getting paid 7.4 mil and people while people are hating on that he's getting richer that's what they want you to do to talk shit about him keep hating on him keep giving them your energy they need your energy so by people hating on any any athlete in the nba they don't care why by you talking about him on twitter instagram facebook tiktok youtube you are giving them more profit. You are funding their lifestyle. They are chilling in their mansions because their mommy and daddy gave them these expensive toys. They're in their expensive bed. They're in the pool scrolling, laughing at you niggas while y'all talking shit, bashing them, calling them this and that. They know what they are. A lot of them are bending backwards to get to where they are. So when you see somebody dribbling down the lane and, and, and some of them be like, go ahead. Yeah, that's because they were meant to do that. So people know their role. That's why many people are background characters to a main character. And in the NBA, too, if you are a main scorer, if you're in high school or college watching this shit, and if you go overseas, fuck the NBA for one. But even if you're overseas, people know like, this shit's a script. So you can be, you can be, you can average 30 in college or high school. Get to the NBA, you may be a bench player. That's how deep that shit gets. You may average 30 or even 40. You may be at the end of the bench. Why? Because you're not starting over Paul George. Or LeBron or KD or Curry or Devin Booker or Bradley Bill or John Wall or Michael Beasley. You're not starting over these niggas at all. Like John Morant, Steven Adams, Anthony Edwards. You're not starting over that. Victor Wimbanyama, Chris Paul, not happening. So you have to work just as hard. And if you don't want to, go overseas with that shit. They won't mind. But once you're going overseas, you understand how different basketball is because why? The defense is way tougher. People cry way too much. Hey, all that crying and shit. It's like, nigga, stop crying. Go get a bucket. You get fouled. So what? It's meant to produce crybabies. So that's why now basketball has shipped. The entertainment industry is so fucked up and so demonic that people think that the NBA is real basketball. And people, even if you go to LA, even if you go to high school games, AAU, doesn't even matter. Just watch the program. Like, everybody's playing in 2K in real life, basically. So people will cry for calls. Rev, he's hitting me. Stop bitching. Go get a bucket. Because if the ref sees you, you getting smacked. You getting hit. You are so used to getting hit. You still get and once. So ref is like, damn, I gotta call something because he getting hit. He getting hacked, but he ain't saying a word. He just getting buckets. He's getting two. But he's missing. But his teammates are. You have to play hard to even be in the NBA. Like you have to want to be a defensive player. You have to know your role first of all. Are you a rebounder? Are you a scorer? Are you a three point shooter? Are you a three and D? You a lockdown? Are you a facilitator? What are you? If you don't know that, they won't tell you that shit. On top of that, too, it's a height limit, too. So people will try so hard to be in the NBA. It doesn't even matter. If you're over, I say six foot, really six five. But six five and up, that's when you have a chance. But below that, your chance is slim to none because they, they, they don't need you. They have six ten guards. So why do they need a five foot eleven guard or a five nine guard? They don't need your ass, nigga. Go, go to the G League with that shit. 
and they will not care. It's all about business, baby. They don't give a fuck about your feelings. How can you make us richer? That's all. How can you make us richer? Oh, you six nine, six eight, dunking on niggas, shooting threes. Oh, you're six four, but you you're a light skin sh a shooter who's a program robot. These aren't even real people. First of all, some of these are actual robots, like actual nanobots programmed to shoot threes like that, or to dunk on people like that, or to jump that high, or to just have a bag to where you've never seen it before. Like, duh, they know the spell behind closed doors. So behind closed doors, they are programmed to do the same exact shit to get them to please their masters so that they so that they can pay their bills at night. The NBA is a joke. You're watching a bunch of talented clowns perform an act that is not funny. They are pleasing. Look into that sky. We go to a game in real life. Look at the sky box. Go see who's up there. Those are the people that they, that they are pleasing. They don't care about the people below that shit. It's like, oh, yeah, they're here talking shit or they, they love me. I don't give a fuck. Who's up there watching me? Because they determine if I can still play the game of basketball in the NBA. And if you can't perform... You're going to be working a nine to five job and people don't want to work that shit. That's exactly why ball is life. Can you play basketball 82 games every year, including playoffs in a championship and staying consistent in your summer league program as well? Some can't do that. Not only that, you're working so hard throughout the summer. Of course, taking a break and all that. But then too, all the scandals, excuse me, all the scandals, all the different mischievous shit people do all the publicity the media will shame your name it's just so much shit people can't handle the girls as well people can't handle women throwing themselves at them and then doing it for their man as well on the, on the same team it's just so many things that people can't comprehend it's like it's it's all nothing but it's a play upon shakespeare's ego and we're sitting here pleasing nephilim thinking that we're just going to be this amount like this person like we're going to get eight rings to define how good i am like no ai is still the coldest point guard that anybody's ever seen oscar robertson magic johnson chris paul jason kidd there's so many names you can name it doesn't even matter these people were meant to do this shit because for one ball is life to them like there is no hanging out and chilling going to partying clubbing doing drugs prostitution sex traffic and for one a lot of them are sex traffickers as well and it's, it's just like, if we go deeper and dive deeper into that, it's deeper than basketball. Like, yeah, ball is life, but behind closed doors, these niggas are not athletes. They're, they are submissive programmers that get programmed by experiments, programmed by higher experiments. Go to a party. Buy, like, you can be a musician, a gamer. You can be anything in the world. Let's say you're famous. You got money. You go to these parties that, that they invite you to. You see people snorting coke having orgies, trafficking kids, aping people, videotaping them, like molesting people, all this different shit, like gambling, trading shit, like just doing different, like go it's just it, killing people in front of your face. It's like, but don't say a word, give me your phone, but they can record you because they have the dirt on you now. So of course, like we told you before, you said, before you sign that contract, are you sure you want to do this shit? And people will look and be like, I can get paid millions, get my mom out the hood, protect my siblings my family will be rich forever but don't forget if you sign that shit in the blood oath it goes deeper beyond the physical now you have to please these niggas so they tell you to go touch on this child and go do what you got to do don't do it and see what happens and they tell you to go traffic or, or go kidnap somebody go kill them and eat they or consume their blood or eat their vessel and you don't do it what happens to you and they can clone your ass. So a lot of these people on the court are clones. Some of them are real people, yeah, but some of these people are clones. And we are all clones. We all have a doppelganger. Either way it goes, contradict everything, question everything. Contradict everything, question everything. Because if you're a regular citizen, you, you can never see behind these closed doors because they're all it's an all fraternity. It's all sorority as well. So once you see that shit, you're looking beyond the veil of illusion now. You're looking beyond identity. You're looking beyond deceit. <clears throat> an exception far beyond deception thou shall not have other gods before me and they place them in front and what's crazy I say you are gods all of you thou shall not have other gods before me but I say you are gods all of you that's a joke and people will praise these people because they put a ball into the hoop not knowing behind closed doors these are demonic programs pleasing their family some people killing their moms and their dads to get famous in life. 
just to put a ball in the hoop, to be loved on. Everywhere they go, everybody's screaming their name. They're manipulating themselves to believe that they're actually a famous athlete playing basketball. But in real life, in the astral realm, this shit don't even exist. And they were never playing basketball in the first place. So the NBA and EuroLeague, all this shit, basketball in general is a spell. It's a skill to even put the ball into the hoop anyways. So you have to be programmed. You have to be programmed. And on top of that, there are magnets in the ball as well. But we don't got to go into the all that as well because who gives a fuck? Either way it goes, do not believe everything you see. We see less than 1% of our fucking life. So because of that, all the highs that you have seen or you thought you seen never existed. So you thought. We are all deceived and we are all manipulated and we are all under a hypnosis or MK Ultra. So your mind is controlled by soul harvesters or soul leeches or astral leeches. So either way it goes, people will keep watching the same exact... And the thing is too, they put the NBA there to make you waste time to watch somebody else waste their time and get rich off of it. So there are a bunch of scammers as well. People will waste their time watching a grown man or a grown woman put the ball into the hoop for three or two hours, however, however long the game is. Once the game's over, this person will do something else, go on social media, play the game, go jack off, go to sleep. But they did nothing to enhance their lifestyle. That's exactly why the entertainment industry is at an all-time high. Everybody want to be famous because they know you give your time and you dedicate your sacrificial lifestyle to please a bunch of idols that don't need to be idolized but of course they need money too they got to pay bills too so somebody got to do it you clock out of work to go clock in to somebody else's lifestyle but you don't ever clock into your lifestyle you don't ever clock into your hobbies to get rich but yet you're helping a scammer get richer they're already a multi-millionaire and yet you're watching them become a multi-millionaire why can't you do it it's a joke do what makes do what makes you happy. Getting to the NBA is like, it's like getting to the NBA is like winning the lottery. Getting to the NBA is like finding a needle in the haystack or finding a burger in the ocean. I thought burger in the ocean. I blindfold you. I say go find that burger. Fucking real, man. I love you. Have a great day, God and Goddess.